Okay, stocks for, like, newbies to buy, like, I'm talking about, like, people who, are like, are gonna, like, be in a new in the game. If I'm going, like, you're talking about, like, newbie stocks, like, I'm just, like, looking up, like, stocks that, like, I really like if I'm gonna look at them trading like like not like it's risky stocks. I mean I've been doing this for years now. It runs in my family, so I mean it's not that big. If I just had the patience my granddad did, like he had patience. Now literally that's why he made like a fortune off food line. He would just sit there and hold. I mean if I had the patience I would have already made hundred grand in share my line. Ten grand on Zumedica, fifteen on the Hall of Fame. It's not that I haven't made good gains. I made a thousand in the last week. But I mean, I'd have made better gains. Even like... Even like... The ones they said sell off. Big Sexy's like... You should sell them in stock. I'm like, that's life-saving technology. Not all penny stocks are altogether bad. It's like a sensor they're sticking in your arm instead of pricking you. The technology is big. They're supposed to be like... They have, like, life-saving technology. Not all penny stocks are that bad. Oh, my God. Honestly, like... Reality is... It was just like a genius. So, in, like, a day and a half, what will happen on Monday? I'll have more big at orders before I go on my trip and my spark. So I'm getting to the point now where I just figure, like, buy on the house. People are laughing at me. Go ahead. I'm not lying when I say I could have already been, like, 100000 there this year. If I'd have held. Five grand on the last week would have made a sense. Fifteen grand on Hall of Fame. Which I own NFL land. Own a lot of it. I own, like... 10 grand on Zumanic, I still regret that. Because I, I was telling our bartender, and I was like, April, I miss her. The only part I miss about Applebee's and the managers, but she's right about Ripple, but like, I'm like, I would have made 9 grand on, I sold off two days too soon. That's the problem. You're better off holding. That 10 grand, I would have been 100,000 there by now. I'm not lying. That's why you see all these people are doing it. Robin Hood, like, I'm gonna sit in my pants, I'm coughing up a storm, I'm sitting there, it benefits me because I'm making six grand that week. I made eight grand last year. And I worked, I worked decently good last year. I was like, maybe like one break, like, half of a month. Not even that much, honestly, like, maybe a month or whatever. So I every month of last year, it worked heavy. Or 12 hour shifts, 12 hours in one day, 25 hours. But, that's the thing. I make six grand on a leak, I make eight grand all last year. You don't have to have money to make. That's the best way to get inherit wealth. The best way to accumulate wealth. Listen, by the way, I'm going to start another channel because, like, that's like just about this, but it's separate from, like, being fun. Being a clown, how I'll ever forget. Twerp the shit up it. Oh God. But anyway, no, nothing wrong with her, but whatever. Honestly, um, that's it. So I'm gonna do a couple of beginner stocks that feel like aren't like like well known stocks. I'm not trying to sell like it's just safer. They're not like safe safe, but they're they're gonna be at good companies, honestly. Fubu TV stock. When I bought it last month, probably a hundred some shares, like, it's at $30 right now, so when I bought it, like, 15 he's like, oh, this stock is not going to be good. Well, I'm sorry for you. I mean, I mean, he's right on some stocks, but not everything. We had this discussion with Roku three years ago. He's like, Roku's like at $56. Roku is an American icon at this point, the streaming device. FUBU, I had a FUBU for, like, a two-week trial. FUBU's gonna be around for the long haul. It's like streaming. YouTube TV. It's gonna be around for the long haul. Literally and figuratively, they are not going anywhere. That's a stock that I would buy. It's to me, it's too high right now. 
But still, you're talking about price action. They've been up on the $62 weekly high. $30 more dollars, $30 more dollars, $30 more dollars. So, you buy like... I buy like 200 shares. There's a possibility. It's like $200? $200? 200 shares? 200 times 30. Isn't that like six grand? Six grand, yes. Okay, another one. Um, which still you got plenty of room to make some. I, I think that could be a hundred dollar stock. Skill stock. I'm not saying they're completely safe, but they're safer than a lot of penny stocks. I mean, a lot of penny stocks, I, I dug and get a lot unload them and make eight hundred dollars. But I could push Numenica up. That's what Reddit traders were doing. Okay, skills. It's like an online gaming company. Twenty one dollars. Buy skills, acquisitions, and partnerships. Power, power skills, stock to thirty dollars. Again, not entirely safe, but the safety they're going to be around because, or somebody like Apple will buy them off. Now you're owning Apple. Who doesn't want to own Apple? Now you're in really safe territory. No, you are. You're in Apple territory. What's going to happen to Apple? The iPhones, the iPads. You you are not going to go anywhere with that. Even since Sonic's with the, with the like the watch and stuff. I'm just saying. Okay, next. Oh, let's see. Fubu TV. That's just one of them. Palantir Technology. To 24. I'm again. I can see this being a uh, like their revenue grew like 90 percent over the last year or something. I don't think this is what Palantir stock in five years what to consider. I can see it going to 100 dollars. It's simply enterprise software business and they're going to boot. Financially, yeah, they had their revenue soared. I'm saying I can see that being a five hundred dollar stock and even when it's crunching the numbers on um, like the Synthonic stock. Like I was a senior like I had two thousand shares, I'm like looking at it, I'm like You're talking about this being Dexcom. Dexcom's a four hundred dollar company. That makes me insanely rich. Frightening how fast you can become how fast in this game. You should play the game. You gotta have a long term vision, not a short term vision. That's the problem why I ain't 100,000 there right now. I would have already been one. I mean, it's gonna be a gambler, but you're gonna be in the gambler in the back of your head. You're making risk when you're young. And we were tired at 35. You just don't want to do shit jobs. I just came from a job where I hated it. It's the shortest length of time where I quit, like a month and a half. So. Again, these are beginner stocks, but they're not like safe, safe stocks. But they're decent companies that are probably going to be around for long. Or they're not going to crash. Okay, another one. This is even a better one I like. It's called Slack. I actually won like $2,000 when I was drunk at Applebee's one time. And I was on Robin Hood manipulating my, like, options contract. Because they're already not so they're like, three options. So I made, like, two grand the next day. And I was like, the next day I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why be lonely? Why be lonely? Man. It be all the chains, dog. Why? Not really, but this is a good company. In fact, like, they're, they're like, they're like, they're like, they're like their, their CEO is, like, a genius. They're like a work from home stock. Slack technology operates a business technology software platform in the United States. Oh my god. I see it as a buy. So I go over here to their things. And you just got to do your research. Probably get a chart or something, a trading chart. The people who are trading charts are like, are able to decipher the movement. They make a lot of money. We do fundamental analysis. So, there you go. Their numbers are excellent. That's a safer stock. I mean, they're like an American international software company. They're not really anything that's really going to happen to that. In fact, they're owned by Salesforce. Next one. 
Salesforce. Another good stock. It's $240 plus. These are stocks you're really not going to go wrong with for beginners. They're not like the super safe ones, but like... It's, to me, it's high right now, but I would not buy it at a certain point. Because I always buy on a dip. And like, everybody's like, it's down today. I'm buying I never buy on like the upswing. That's one of the first things Big Sexy taught me. Big Sexy taught me. <laughs> okay. Big Sexy taught me that. He told me to buy on the dip. That was right. No, he did. He told me to like buy on the dip. And look at this with their numbers. Their numbers are like up 22%. What do we figure to play? By the way, some yokel yokels don't know my name when like everybody else in the Eastern Seaboard knows the name. <laughs> oh my god. What do we figure to play? No one must say nothing, but a lot of people. Okay, so that's, that's another company to buy. The next, um, let's see. So I'm still looking for more to go up. It's good that I know that he's happy in. Again, is it like a, a developer software company? For anybody that knows about computers and stuff? Appian. And it's like at $100 right now. So you're really scoring some gains. $113 you're talking about. It used to be $300 or $250. Again, going financials. And like, again, the numbers are decent. You're looking at revenues, it costs up 12%. There's another stock I want to go and I'm going to get off of here. Um, Lemonade. They're like this robotic stock that does insurance. So like they're AI, artificial intelligence. So they're really smart. Which is the future. So we got... We got... They're at 106 right now. You're talking about $200 plus. I would do options on this, but I haven't done options in a while because options are kind of like they can be what they are. You can soar and you can also lose. I've been receiving it above. Which is a lot done as many late when it's stuck with this. So the quarterly financials didn't look as good, but you gotta remember that was the COVID thing. And they're still getting st started. This depends. I'm telling you that's a company I'm high on. They do pet insurance, renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, liability policies. And you're based in New York City. So, there you go. That's just a couple of companies that I really don't think are going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Like if Apple buys them. Apple buys them, you're owning Apple. Who doesn't want to own Apple? I mean, that's honestly, like, they're talking about even Synthonics. Like, they're so risky. Well, it's a penny stop, but yeah, it's almost becoming a big time thing. They just got to get approval for devices, and they're talking about Apple buying them. Apple's buying them. Big deal. Who doesn't want to own Apple? You're talking about, like, the company that will always be around. You're talking about iPads. You're talking about iWatches. You're talking about all these things that still get flattered by that man. That was one of my heroes. I'm sorry. No, that's one of my heroes. Oh, never mind. So that's beginner, that's beginner, that's beginner stocks. Like, they're, like, not really, like, I would not, I would just buy them like the download, especially Appian. You can make, you can make like a lot of money on those. And some of those companies are really good slack. If you really want to put it in your retirement portfolio and you're off, socket of light is tax free on trades, tax free on commissions. Yeah, I'm gonna say those are stocks that are like decently like. That are not really going to go anywhere. You're not going to lose money on it. I mean, they might be boring. Because I'm a risk, but not everything I do is risk. I look at it. I don't want to look at, when I look at buying a penny stock even, a lot of them are not that risky. Are they going to have a reverse split? I just sell them off when it doesn't mean me right and just sell off. It is a grand. Can you make another grand? Oh my God, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to make like, I made like eight grand all last year. 